Okay, my name is Shelly Hawthorne Smith, and I'm the assistant director for the Office of Fellowship and Community Engagement. I wanted to tell you just a little bit about funding for graduate students. So, um, the first question that people want to know is how do students pay for graduate school? The best idea is to get somebody to pay all your bills and your living expenses, but since about 0% percent, percent of graduate students are able to find someone like that, here's the other option. So there are private loans. I'm going to go through them from least desirable to most desirable. So private loans are one option, or federal student loans. And there are times when uh, loans are worth taking out. Often when students are at the end of their graduate career and they really need to get through and finish up, it can be a good idea. You just want to always keep in mind um, the amount of loans you're taking out and your ability to pay them back. There's also tax incentives, and a lot of people will use savings during graduate school. If you have been working prior to prior to graduate school. There's also work. So um, as well as working on campus, there's often jobs off campus. And especially after you've gotten a little bit of a, of a little bit through your graduate program, you can have some skills that are employable. And so some people do find good jobs off campus while they are in their graduate program. There's employee benefits. So there's a number of companies in town, which is Raytheon, IBM, who will pay for students to go to graduate school. And this is a really great way to pay for, for graduate school. Um, the University of Arizona is, a, is one institution that does have employee benefits that include graduate tuition. So uh, if you are an actual employee of the U of A, that is an option. There's tuition waivers. These are often through your department and request these on your behalf. Uh, there's teaching and research assistantships. Uh, and most students get these within their departments, but there's other uh, teaching and uh, assistantships throughout campus. So, for example, student affairs or the graduate college, they have positions. So you want to keep your eyes open for various opportunities that come. There's Fellowships that are from within the university, uh, you want to keep your eye on university-wide fellowships, on fellowships that are available through your college, and then fellowships that are available through your department. And often for the university-wide ones, these you will be nominated for your department, but it's a good idea to keep your eyes open and you can ask to be one. And finally, there's external fellowships, and these are from foundations or government agencies that are outside of the university. So the National Science Foundation is a big one, the Ford Foundation. This is the best way to pay for graduate school. Usually, even the big ones don't pay for the whole uh, experience of graduate school, but um, if you get these, you can often find other things to put in in the gaps. Most students will use all of these throughout their graduate career, especially if they're in a doctoral program. So you want to just keep your eyes open for the options and when is the good the best time to do each of them. So how do you find information about these resources? We have a lot of information on our website. We have a number of articles and we are also available to talk to you. So um, our information is on the, the website, and feel free to email us or schedule a time to come talk. Beautiful. <laughs>